Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to our channel TM Square where we look forward to create as much content as possible related to testing for our common QA community members and helping them learn about testing with much more fun and with great real-time examples which we claim from our tutorials to make sure that you have a wonderful understanding of what we do as a part of testing be it about certification, be it about the context discussions we bring to you a lot of content and today we are talking about how AI can help testers to grow in their career and we'll be deep diving into some of the related concepts of this particular certification called as AI test. Well, to get started with the very first thing where I got the innovation and idea of creating this uh, video from, uh, we had one of our viewers who just requested me recently that, hey, why don't you come up with a video which explains us what exactly is the need of this certification and how important it could be for uh, test engineers to migrate to AI testing, what could be the transformation needs and etc. So I thought, why not? This could be of great help because we also look forward to our listeners and uh, viewers and then if they have any you know, particular request, we try to guide them with more detailed by just creating a video. The very first topic is about this ISTQB AI tester certification. So of course, ISTQB hosts uh, many of certifications for the QA professionals across the world. ISTQB, just for people who are new, ISTQB is an international body which stands for International Software Testing Qualification Board based out of Belgium, which conducts examinations for QA professionals across the world to certify them with different abilities. And uh, we have right from foundation to advance, then we have specialist. No matter what kind of industries you might be working on, uh, we may have a dedicated certification, but I think I should mind my words. There are certain industries where the ISTQB is yet to create some certifications, but namely say, if you are a persona tester, like you are a model-based tester, you are a performance tester, mobile application tester, or even into like acceptance testing, usability testing, security testing, automation testing, we have a certification for you. And if you are a domain tester like automotive, game testing, gambling industry testing, we do have a certification for you. And if you are growing up with your career with managerial positions, we have uh, advanced level test analyst and test manager certification for you. So one among them is a domain testing which is recently added in 2021 that is AI tester. But many people do not know about the certification. We thought of creating an awareness through this video. Number one, of course, the certification is for people who have taken ISTQB foundation level already because it's a prerequisite to take the AI tester certification. And uh, this certifi certification will have 40 questions, uh, which would be marked for 47 marks. And uh, you should get at least 31 marks to pass this examination. Okay, simple examination, given that you know the content and syllabus and the type of questions which are expected. Trust me, this is not difficult enough to crack the examination. And at the same time, you would be recognized with the fundamental knowledge and concepts related to this examination. So this, question, this examination will have 40 questions to be answered in 60 minutes and 31 out of 47 marks is the passing criteria. Once certified, you're certified forever. Don't forget CTFL, that is foundation level, is a prerequisite to take the AI tester certification. So talking about the point number two, the point number two here we are referring to is what is the scope of AI for a test engineer and how exactly a test engineer uh, from a conventional testing can look forward to migrate. So number one, what is the scope of AI? I don't think you know you need me to talk about the world is talking about AI today. You, if you just jump onto the internet, you're watching some reels, some kind of videos, People are blindly talking about AI. That AI can do this, AI can do that. There's something called as ChatGPT. There's something called as Gemini. There's something called as hundreds of applications which can remove background from video today, enhance your existing images, can turn pictures into video and can make motions happen. And there are a lot of things which you are referring to today. And that's the world of AI when you are in 2024 or 2025, uh, AI is right with you, living with you in form of many ways. For example, if you're making a call today to customer care, the first thing which you are attended by is AI. If you are kind of like interacting with a chat support, you're talking to AI. You are looking at videos where we are talking about AI uh, experts, you're talking about AI as a robot and whatnot. So AI basically stands for artificial intelligence and the world is migrating towards taking the help of AI assistance in doing anything because 
AI is going to talk about uh, things which humans find it difficult to do or probably consumes more time, just like an extension to automation, but in a way that human can think, okay? Automation doesn't think about humans or doesn't think the way human thinks or do the decision making like humans. But AI standing for artificial intelligence. Intelligence is something which is related to human beings. And as human beings can do this, we can certainly look forward to work on that, right? So AI is bringing that kind of renovation into the technological world today and being updated with latest and greatest doesn't harm any individual. So yes, the testers of our community can very well look forward to migrate or update themselves with the need of the world of AI technology and try to become an AI tester with help of this certification and shall look forward to add more value and kind of like uh, updated at the same time with having better recognitions with remarkable uh, recognition of ISTQB into their portfolios to say that we are okay to talk about what is AI and we can also look forward to work in future in AI based projects. So looking on to the third element here, the third element here is very important. That is, what is the future scope of test engineers to migrate to AI? Or why should a tester coming from conventional testing should look forward to change or transform to AI tester? Now, the mo most important thing here is as the world is migrating towards AI, there should not be no showstoppers for you because tomorrow the future is AI or everything is talking about AI. That means you know the wide expectations of the market that how much we need from the technology in terms of delivering such applications, such products in the market, which will have AI as a part of it. So of course, exactly the same way the testers would also be required to conduct these tests. So certainly you have a bright future and great career ahead. Second important thing that uh, having AI, you know, being a part of your career would let you stay more updated. And th those people who are very much curious and very much uh, interested in challenging themselves, like, okay, I have done enough for the past few years. Now let me take more challenges, better assignments to, you know, keep myself groomed up with more, you know, better career options and uh, trying to learn something new every time, then you are free to migrate to AI. So what it would take to migrate, of course, you need to learn about AI and ML, where AI will talk about the AI-based systems. That is, how does artificial intelligence understand an input? How does it make a decision? However, the decision is made by ML models, but we'll come to it later. But AI-based systems as the front end will basically interact with the system, make certain inputs, uh, take certain inputs from the user, and based on those inputs, they basically conclude something, uh, what the ML model responds to them, and then display that as a result to the user. Now, based on these results, the AI, AI systems try to understand their own behavior and try to make it better every single time they conduct this execution. So as users are interacting with several AI-based system, AI-based based system have capability to interact on themselves to try understanding how they can do better. So as we talk about these mechanisms, a tester needs to learn about it. And uh, that should be not so difficult. Of course, just like how you learned automation testing, you're going to learn another new domain, which would be of great help. Another thing is, of course, ML. You need to really learn about ML models. You need to understand how the algorithms work, what combination of algorithm can do what kind of uh, activities here, right? And should certainly add a lot of value in terms of uh, implementing an ML model to really have a good context of what is this ML model all about? And given that a tester understands the requirement and expectations of the machine learning, they can go ahead and test it. Remember one thing, a tester cannot test the application without having a context clear related to that. So that would be again something important what you would have to learn. And in addition to that, you would have to learn a lot of other things, right? Uh, like what are the methods which are specific to AI-based system? What kind of test we write for AI-based system? What are the challenges related to test data when it comes to the uh, testing of AI and ML models? And same way, what kind of environment needs we have? Because we don't use common test environments, uh, which we use in conventional systems when it comes to AI. The AI system makes use of simulators, simulators, virtual environments, and very heavy processing systems like GPUs and TPUs to perform the required test. At the end of the day, of course, uh, AI would also be helping you in testing in return. That means AI can directly be used in testing as well for activities like predicting the defects in some complex areas or 
uh, some of the codes which typically find defects. So that could help you to uh, minimize your effort even in terms of conventional testing. Second important thing is uh, testing can help you optimize the regression test cases and uh, writing test cases as well. Plus, it can also help you to perform some of the other activities like GUI testing. You do understand that when it comes to, uh, you know, performing automation tests, it is very, very important to identify the locators. And if you don't have the locators like object identification done, it's very difficult to write an automation script. So it is very crucial that uh, AI can help us detect those static elements or static properties of an object, which could be a savior for the automation testers and in turn helping testing itself to gain better proficiency and productivity in the given timeline. So it's not that AI is only going to help a common people or should only work in things like making a video work or making an image to video, bringing your imagination into reality, but it's more for equally for the testers as well, because when these products are built, an independent tester is always required maintaining that legacy of independency that uh, you are biased, you look forward to find more defects and uh, certainly many other things related to that. So it's pretty crucial that, uh, you know, you can look forward to this to make your career and uh, look forward to learn these fundamentals in order to start your career. Trust me, your transformation will not be very complicated. It will be just like a new subject which you are starting today. Over a period of time, you'll have a good knowledge with you. And at the same time, you will be you know looking forward to migrate and uh, you know, move your career from conventional testing to AI testing. I would really encourage testers to look forward because there's a demand and supply is limited. And coming to the final part of this particular tutorial, of course, uh, you know, what does the certification would do or what exactly we will cover? Will we cover something which would help us to migrate or move ahead? So talking about AI certification from ISTQV, it covers everything right from the scratch, talks about all the fundamental concepts, just like you are something, someone new to AI, right from the definition of AI, will take you through what are the functional and non-functional characteristics of AI-based system, what are the various technologies, what are the various frameworks which we work upon, what are the need of the hardware, what kind of other architectures are involved when it comes to AI compared to that of conventional system. The second part will talk about everything on the ML, including what is an ML model, what it takes to train the ML model, what is an algorithm, what kind of challenges they go through, then what is machine learning in deep dive, like what is neural network, what is deep learning, how exactly the architecture can be understood and trained. And then we also look forward to understand what kind of data requirement does an ML model has and uh, how exactly the data pre 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 processing happens, what kind of uh, activities take place as a part of pre-processing then what is feature engineering, feature uh, extraction, etc., and uh, drives you through the challenges related to data which we have in the world of uh, data preparation. And also there is something called as labeling of data, which would also be discussed as a part of the syllabus. So throughout this ML part, we'll be discussing everything related to what is ML and of course the major matrices. That means whatever the measures we have for ML functional performance matrices, like what is F1 score, what is accuracy, what is precision, what is recall, will all be described to you with the calculation that how exactly we can measure the efficiency of an ML model before we start implementing them, before we start using them as a part of AI-based system. Additionally, we also look forward to cover the third part, which is testing specific in this syllabus. We look forward to uh, take care of understanding that uh, what is the testing methods, what are the specific challenges related to testing an AI-based system, because don't forget, AI is a segment today which is still, majority of the part is still under research. That means things are getting proven, things are getting uh, researched, and we are still trying to make it better and better day by day. It's an emerging practice, so it would be the right time for someone to migrate easily. And second important thing that things would be uh, with limited uh, information, so it will be easy to grab. And later over a period of time when things get proven, there would be many such things which you will have to learn. So it will be good time for you to look forward and start learning them. And uh, the third part will basically describe the entire testing part, that is testing method, techniques, the challenges related to it, the scenarios what we create here, what is the need of the environment, what is the need of the hardware when it comes to testing an AI based system. And finally, the fourth segment in this certification covers how test AI can be used in testing itself. So there are four major segments of this entire syllabus comprising of around 11 chapters to succeed. And you can look forward to take this up 
as your next certification to look forward as as a career option or just for understanding and being in sync with the world today you can obviously look forward to add more knowledge by just going through these uh, you know uh, learnings which would make you compatible with other people when they talk about what is ai and ml and finally to add where to prepare about it of course our channel hosts a wonderful playlist in fact world's only playlist on ai certification of istqb on our channel itself so the link will be provided to you in the description if you are interested you can start watching that playlist and many people have already got certified by watching those playlists so you will have everything what you need and uh, you know you're just ready to get started and uh, add another significant certification to your portfolio so should you have any other questions i'm always there you know that i'm very good at helping people and uh, look forward to assisting the people with their queries so do not hesitate to reach out to me by any means you think you can reach out and i would be more than happy to assist you and guide you well right so with this particular video we'll just want to wind up here so that's all from this particular video team should you have anything else feel free to comment below i'm always there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning keep exploring keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning Thank you.